So, welcome back. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be back. Guess we got to ask about the ankle. That held up okay. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. It You're feels 100%. great. Definitely. Is this like, like you had a little bit of a break? I mean, you didn't want to hurt your ankle. You wanted to mm -hmm. finish that fall. I was itching to get back out here as yeah. soon as uh, the ankle was all better and um, had a good off season just relaxing and hanging out and working out. So it was, it was all good. Did you let yourself not play, not do anything baseball-wise for any period of time? So after the ankle, I, I couldn't do anything baseball for about oh, four or five weeks. And then as soon as I could, I was, I was itching to, to start back up again. How does it just feel to be out here? Do you have nerves this morning or you don't get those anymore? It feels great. I wouldn't say nerves, but just a lot of excitement to be back with the guys on the field and you know be on a baseball field again i know you've taken ground balls from them before but the influence of tram on you and being oh, awesome. taking grounders today it's awesome you know hall of famers hitting you ground balls and uh, showing you how he did it and so you're gonna listen what was your mindset i mean i know it's different this year because you're another step closer and you're going to be a big league camp and and you have an opportunity to make the big league team out of camp which probably wasn't the case last year does it has that changed your thinking coming into this? Absolutely. You know, the, the mindset's pretty much, it's similar and it's, it's a lot different because uh, there's a chance. But yeah. I think uh, you just work hard every day, grind it out, um, show them that you can play at the big league level and uh, let the big guys make the decisions. Right. Are you relieved in a sense? I mean, I know you, you know that you could have developed yourself and been a third baseman, but for them to commit to you now, you know where you're going to be playing at least most of the time. Has that helped? Yeah, definitely. Some clarity is, is nice to have, and uh, I, I was comfortable. I was getting more comfortable at third base, and uh, but first base for me is like riding a bike. You know, yeah. I played there a lot, so um, either way, I'm happy. What's it like to not having any of the big leaders here? Uh, it's sad. You know, I I wish they were here, and I was working out with them. But uh, you know, it's good to be with with everyone, and um, we're just waiting for them to show up. How do you approach that uncertainty? Uh, control the controllable. Just yeah. go out there every day and. Give it your best effort, and then they'll they'll arrive eventually. How much of a different feeling is it for you this year compared to what you remember from last spring training? Not just knowing your way around, but also just having a year of pro experience when you're going. It's a lot better, you know. Uh, I was talking to my parents yesterday, and I was like, you know, it's kind of nice, like without the mask, to like see facial expressions and see guys, you know, smile and the energy, you know. With the mask, it's like, are they smiling? Are they mad at me? You know, but. Uh, <laughs> No, it's all good, and the energy is definitely a little better, and it's nice to know a couple more guys, too. Spitz, you're a developed player, but what, what did you put on your to-do list this offseason in terms of what you what you really wanted to emphasize working? Um, what I really emphasized was uh, getting stronger and then just being uh, just more consistent in the box, you know, being short to the ball. When I struggled, I'd notice myself, you know, come around it or pull off, and um, that just goes to mental toughness of keeping that approach, even if it's the 120th game, you know, yeah. um, staying through the middle and being short and quick to the ball. So that, that, was, that was the big emphasis. Is your body different than it was a year ago right now? Yeah, a little bit. Um, probably about 10 pounds lighter, and um, I, feel, I feel really good. Was that just a reaction to the way you felt moving around? or something? Um, you, I'd or probably give credit around? to... Uh, my girlfriend, she cooked a lot in the off season, so I wasn't door dashing a bunch. So, <laughs> so I, I ate a lot cleaner, and uh, I put a gym in my garage. So whenever I got the itch to work out, I, I was in there for a while. You know, did she make the trip to uh, spring training to cook for you here? No, nah, she's still in Arizona. She'll okay. she'll make a trip out though. You mentioned the mask. I mean, do you ever look back on what the last like two three years have been and be like, man, it's been it's been different than maybe you would have expected? No doubt. You know, it's been crazy, and um, I'm just happy we can almost see the light at the end of the tunnel. Did you, bring a, did you bring a can opener this year? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I uh, actually didn't. But if I do need one, I'm, I'm going to go to the store. I'm not going to use a knife. <laughs> Sorry. He's got a, he's got a guy yeah, Soft that. subject. Yeah, it's good. Hey, Tor, can you just quickly talk about those little gray gloves you guys are using out there and how it kind of helps you build as an infielder? Yeah, those are just training gloves. So, I mean, I like to keep it simple with those. It's like if you can catch with the little one, you can catch with the big one. And then um, with the, the flatter one, that's just making sure your hands are out front, securing the ball using, you know, the alligator. What do you think you learned about yourself last season? Um, I got a little more perseverance than I thought. You know, I, battling through the first couple months or month, uh, it wasn't easy, but I'm, you know, looking back on it, I'm, I'm glad it happened and it made me a stronger and better player.
in bet, person. We've been asking about Riley a ton, you know, the whole way really, but just being back out with him again today, how fun is that? It's awesome. Saw him the other day when he moved into our Airbnb and uh, gave him a big hug, and it was awesome to be with him again. What's the, uh, what's the house like now with you and Riley and Cridler and so Uh Yeah, it's me, Parker, Riley, Ryan, Cridler, and De La Rosa, and it's good vibes. It's, it's fun. How big is this house? Uh, it's four bedroom. Me and Parker actually, uh, we got two twins in our room, so we're roommates. Are you serious? How did Swear you guys God. decide who had to double up? I just took him for the team, and then Parker was the last one to get there. That a boy. That's a way to do it. That's a leader. That's a leader right there. So who's the cook? Uh, Crowther cooked a steak last night, not for anyone else, but but for him. But I think we'll do some family meals. You guys don't have a lake in the back like last year? No, sadly, no. Golf course close by, though. There you go. So I remember at the la end of last season, AAA, you were saying you guys were working on uh, Riley and his fashion habits. How's that? Uh, it's going. It's going great. Um, <laughs> yeah, he he rolled up with some some colorful shoes, so that's a working, definitely a work in progress. But it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> so the Lululemon collection is dwindled. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's up there, but uh, we're still working. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Thank you, Thank you very much.